Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Where in the World is W5 Story. Yeah, remember, if you remember back out when I was out doing demos in the stores, that was my famous tagline. Where in the world is Jeanette Martin of my BC Consulting? Well, she's still in her home kitchen, she's still at home, um, getting out every once in a while, of course, practicing social distancing as I'm learning people's W5 Story in person. But this is a methodology that I about five, six weeks ago that I decided to um, take my community, my connections and my collaborations and interview them and get to know people a little bit deeper. And it's a service that I do offer um, people for free that if you want to you know, go longer than about a 10, 15 minute interview, we will do that. So without further ado, we'll start the process with the gentleman that is to, well, on my screen, you're to the, to the left uh, of my screen. So, yeah. <laughs> so, who are you? Who am I? Well, I am uh, my name, Marshall Stern. Um, and who am I? I am first and foremost a, because uh, I'm going to get hit and beat up if I don't say it, a husband first, father of two teens, uh, one being a teen girl. So you can see the, the gray hair. Okay. Um, and I'm a author and actually uh, I own two, two companies. Okay, so what do you do in some of those who hats? Who hats? Aside from being a husband and father. Uh, so I have a company called Sandbox Sign Group I've had for 25 years. And uh, it's signs and graphics uh, covering the entire, well, British Columbia really. And I also, Yep, more or less, um, and primarily in Lower Mainland and Fraser Valley. Uh, and I also, um, this is the more difficult one, is um, I also coach and mentor other business owners and I've been doing that for about eight years. And the reason I say it's more, a little more difficult is people say, what kind of coach are you? I'm trained as a leadership coach. I'm not a business coach per se. I'm trained as a leadership coach, coaching business owners. And there's a big difference. Oh, interesting. If we can just go back to kind of the husband and dad part yeah. for a second. In that who role, what's your favorite thing to do? What do you, what's your favorite thing to do with your, uh, with your family? Number one, so, I know where you, well, that'll get to a second. Yeah. So what do you like to do as being a, a as a dad and a husband? Pre-COVID or? <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> I uh, know. Um, yeah, just, uh, I mean, they're teens, so it's, it's, it really doesn't matter what I want to do because they don't want to do uh, anything with me anymore. Uh. <laughs> but um, although since the, since the pandemic started here, uh, I started honestly spending a lot, and I've heard this from a few people, obviously you're all together a lot more um, and uh, playing basketball. So I played basketball with them. There was a oh. time where we played every, me and my daughter actually played every single day for, five weeks and i was really upset when that ended oh wow and i and i think it ended just because she was too tired one day or something i don't know too tired of doing nothing so well you must be getting good at some no. i think it's called a free throw shot i used to coach basketball um huh? when i was in high school i was the uh, boys basketball coach in grade 11 and grade 12 so that was a lot of fun oh yes cool. i love basketball but yeah just spending time spending time with them and it, it's different teens from young having young kids uh just you wake up one day and it's a totally different ball game. Pardon the pun. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's actually very good. So we'll keep this ball bouncing ah. uh, on there. And so where do you do what you do in your who hats? In my who hats? Uh, well, on the so on the science geographic side, I mean, we're in Burnaby. Um, so like I mentioned, we're pretty local in the lower mainland in Fraser Valley, but we do service all of the um, BC, and we do stuff in Canada and, and we have done stuff in the US as well. Um, and the coaching all throughout North America, uh, it's all a combination of um, through online okay. um, and, and I have a Facebook group and we have, so I also have group coaching programs, private coaching programs like one-on-one -on -one, as well as things like what we do is like mastermind we do every week. Oh, so, we lost you. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, there you oh, nope. we lost your camera. There you go. There you're back. You know what? At least your your photo matches who you are. So there's a bonus. Oh, perfect ad. Yeah. There's a yeah, that's good. So that's um, yeah. And, so I, and that's where we met. 
so we uh, we yes. get we met online uh, through our business master. Okay, so when did you decide to do what you do? So dial back twenty five years. When did you think it was going to be a signage company? And when did you decide um, your business master masters mastery? Yeah, that's how you said that word. Business and life mastery. Yeah, so it goes back at yeah, twenty five years or really twenty six, I guess. Um, almost 26. I, uh, I was working at BC Lottery Corporation in sales, mm -hmm. but my background was in marketing, uh, sales and marketing and advertising, actually. And I really want to get into the ad, ad industry. And back then, we're talking 1993, 94. It was bad times, in recession, and the marketing industry was horrible, and I couldn't get a job. I mean, like none of us in my class at BCIT got a job in, at the time in advertising. Um, so I stayed with, sorry, 91, graduated 91. So I stayed with BC Lottery through um, a co-op and I got stuck there for three years in sales. And I said, this is not for me. Corporate, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I need to be my own boss. And uh, I started out with a franchise actually. Uh, signage because it was kind of advertising related. Um, and it was a, I had a five-year plan and uh, 20 years past that, I'm still in it. So. Um, and then about eight, nine years ago, I just start, I was really frustrated seeing a lot of my clients because there are a lot of small business owners, uh, and bigger businesses, but primarily smaller businesses struggle. And that's when I decided to, um, uh, start helping them. And I took some leadership training, became certified and started doing that. Excellent. Uh, question for you. Yeah. What is the, what's going on with your background there? Can you explain a little bit about your background oh, behind you? So th this covers everything actually. Uh, so it's a wall mural, which it. we we do a lot of. <laughs> um, I love it. But leadership obviously is the big one because that's everything, everything. Um, well, as John Maxwell, leadership guru guy says, that's where I was trained actually. Everything rises and falls in leadership. So that's really what I'm all about. Um, and there's different words back there, inspire, create. Uh, yeah, I, lo I love that. I'd love that behind me. Um, so, yeah. So ultimately your why, why do you do what you do? Wearing your who hats. That's a new one for this yeah. W5 story, your who hats. <laughs> I like the who hats. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. I love the why question. And I really got gain clarity on it. I'm, I, I, it's one area I like to help my clients with too, but I gained clarity, clarity on it a little bit more uh, recently. And it's really to inspire. The reason I get out of bed every morning is simply to inspire and empower, inspire and empower others mm. to live life on their terms. That's it. Oh, that's beautiful because there's, there's so many times and I think we've all been inundated so much in this last four or five months of you can be this you can be that if you do this with my with my this that and the other thing and we're we're losing self like we're losing what's important to me and i know we were part we're part of this uh, business inner circle mastermind together and we had the make your bed challenge yes and i made my bed for a while and i went you know what that's not important to me and what's important to me is making the bed at the end of the night and that and making it well like i don't make it half ass to get into bed but it was a sense of end accomplishment to my day and to yes. get into bed and that was for me and that's what i appreciated about you in this challenge and it truly spoke to your why it was like okay jeanette if that's why you want to make your bed then then make your bed then and it was um quite a powerful revelation you really do help um others get to themselves and to help them move uh, yeah. through their life. So you are oh, really you. living your W5 story, my friend. Oh, thank you. Well, I just see too many, too many people focus way, way too much on their business and specific aspects in their business, which is important, but they forget themselves. Yeah. And that's where I sort of really help them work on. True enough. So as I sometimes end this, I will say that um, my why is I love helping uh, others share their stories to the four corners of this round world. Um, and that 
now I know more about who you are and we're born with this blank set of encyclopedias. And now I have the Marshall Stern volume in my set of encyclopedias that if I find somebody that needs a who like you, um, oh my gosh, this is, oh, Dr. Seuss, I may get sued by Dr. Seuss one day, I think, that I'll be able to take that off of my shelf and, and share that, your story with somebody else. And that's what's so powerful about learning people's stories. So I thank you so much today and sharing your W5 story. And now uh, once this gets up, um, we'll get Marshall to put how to get in contact with him in the comments as awesome. well. Well, thank so, you, Jeanette, for everything. Thank you for everything you do. You are more than welcome, my friend. It's, it's so much fun. And um, we'll see you in Mastermind on, on Wednesday. Sounds good. Have a great day, everyone. See you later. Bye-bye.